such as Roguewing, Coraline, or Helen R.D. over at Starship Modeler. Welcome to the workshop. Okay, back to work on the Harlot. So far, I haven't done a lot. What I have done is taken the plastic panel that I cut to cover the back for my modification, and using my Dremel, I've gone in, and I admit, I just basically freehanded all of this. But I've gone in and drawn in some panel lines just to break it up, make it look a little better with the rest of the Falcon. Even with the small grinding bit in my Dremel, these lines are probably heavier than the ones that are actually on the Falcon. But, considering it's supposed to be like an aftermarket modification, I think it'll work. You can see pieces set just about right for size. I'll probably epoxy it into place so I don't have to worry too much about the detail down here. That and this plastic doesn't like to glue well. Okay, lighting decision's been made. I am going to give it a shot. So, to that end, first major lighting modification. What I've got here is I've got the kit's engine grill. I've gone ahead and laid it down on some foil to help create the light block when I actually get the piece made. Using clay, I've built a border that I'll use to pour some clear resin into place and I've also gone ahead and inserted into the walls three LEDs which should give me some nice even light distribution through a lens effect by pouring the a solid piece of resin there instead of just trying to get the LEDs to do the lighting. Got the resin poured. As you can see, I've got a little running out from underneath the mold, but I'm not that worried about it because the rest of it seems to be holding in just fine. That probably won't be ready till tomorrow at the earliest. In the meantime, I've gone in and trimmed out the ridge that would have normally backed the engine piece so that when I go to insert the lens it won't interfere with anything. Still have to figure out a lighting plan for the cockpit. It'll probably be pretty basic though. Probably either going to go with fiber optic or just drill some holes and pop an LED behind it. Unfortunately, the way the control panel is set up in this without some really, really fine fiber optic, and I really don't have any in stock, I may not be able to get to the front control panel. We'll have to play that one by ear. Okay. Time for a little more update. Didn't get a lot done tonight, but did get some done. The lens assembly is mostly cured. I do still need to clean up the clay off it, but it looks like it's going to do what I want it to. Need to trim some of the excess resin where it ran off as well. The other thing I've gotten done tonight is I am in the process of attaching the hull plate to the hull. What I've done is with a combination of epoxy and Ave's epoxy sculpt, 
I've gone ahead and built up underneath the plate and with some clamps in place. This is basically going to sit until tomorrow so this stuff has a full ch a chance to cure up completely. And then I'll go in and I'll fill under here to make it look more even. And that will bring that segment to a conclusion. Still need to get a crew as well as work out a little more of my lighting plan. But the lighting plan itself, I think, is going to be fairly basic. I basically, at this point, besides the three LEDs that are going to be in the uh, engine, I'm going to put at least one in the cockpit, probably one in the area of the guns, if not directly between them. And then I still have to figure out a way to light the, um, for lack of a better term, headlights.